Hey guys, this is Juan and welcome back to my YouTube channel. So for today's video, I have a homemade parfait mukbang. So this is what I made. I put strawberries and yogurt. I mixed it up and I put raspberries. Looks super yummy. So I grabbed a transparent plastic cup for you guys for this video so you guys get to see how it looks like and like a little DIY for you guys and that way you can know how Juan makes it so stay tuned so how I got into parfaits actually was when I was in middle school. That's how I actually really got into parfaits. I had this friend, but I'm not gonna say his name because not only I'm not friends with him anymore and or whatnot, is also to avoid the shade or whatnot, but like that old friend of mine actually got me into parfaits. Mm. So good. And fun fact, I used to hate any kind of berry because of all the little hairs that were like having it. And it used to just bother me. It's not necessarily the taste, it was just the fact that I had hairs that used to freak me out. It's so good. I love eating it with blueberries. And guys, if you ever make some, you should try it with blueberries. Blueberries, if you like boba, you will love it with blueberries. Ah, it tastes so good. Mm. I just love the vanilla flavor in this yogurt. Oh my god. Mm. So healthy, so good and nice and homemade.
I have nothing much to say. Sorry if it's like a little ASMR-ish. I'm just in love with this. Nice and healthy. Something what most of y'all should be eating because I know is it with people that they just love to eat out. I'm not gonna be a hypocrite, but I love to eat out, but I control myself. <laughs> Even my stomach tells me, it's like, Juan, don't eat out. Because, like, I get moments, you guys, that I just don't want to eat out. You saw that yogurt going through that mouth. <laughs> Especially my advice to you guys, for any of you guys that are broke and you know, like, you're trying to make it to your dream and, like, to be independent or anything, is try not to eat out as much. Not only for your health, also for your wallet. I get it. Like, I hate when people would say, like, oh, oh you should be careful about eating now. I know you have to be careful when you're eating now, but the thing is, the stuff that happened in a restaurant kitchen can happen in someone's home. And then, even though the other person could think like, oh, if it happens in someone's home, is it because, someone, is because that person's dirty? Not necessarily because that person is dirty and the kitchen is bad or whatnot. If you really think about it, it could happen to anybody. Whether the kitchen is squeaky clean, like anything can happen. I've always been a firm believer that anything can happen. Even if it's someone coming back into your life, I believe that that can happen too because people... Sometimes they seem tough. That's like, oh, I don't need anybody. And then yet when something happens, they're like, oh, I need you. I just love the richness of the vanilla. It's early in the morning here in Miami, so pardon me if, like, the video does, like, lines or whatnot, like, on my face or whatnot. Not, ne not necessarily that it's acne, it's, like, it's just the sun rays that is just rising and shining, you get me? Like that Kylie Jenner song, Rise and Shine.
Who here has a TikTok? And if you do have a TikTok, put your TikTok on the comments. I'm dying to check out anybody's TikTok. If you ask which TikTok, I, t uh, not TikTok, which TikToker I've been going crazy for, my answer to is Lil Huddy. I love his aesthetic. And what bothers me a lot about people is that, like, what bothers me a lot is that when people have judged Lil Huddy so much about, like, what he likes and his relationship life or whatnot. If I even, me as a 20 year old personally, I think you guys, he's only, a, he's only 17 years old. Like I've been there. All of us have been there that like, we're not sexually mature. And that even though for most of us, like we know our sexuality, or like we just know like we just know our sexuality and we've always known that we liked this but if you think about it like when you're only 17 16 and this is that little hoodie's only 17 17 16 and that age like you're just not like mature like not only sexually also like in general like even though you could be mature at a young age, like, oh, you're responsible or whatnot. But when, I'm, but when I mean by mature is that, like, mature all around, biologically. Like, that's what I think. Like, I've seen all over TikTok and Snapchat, like, Lil Huddy this, Lil Huddy can be bisexual. It's like, you guys, leave the kid alone. He's only 17. He's a great TikToker. I love his TikToks. Like, I love even his fashion sense. Like, I would love to buy Balenciaga's and Versace, Versace clothes, Dolce & Gabbana. I would love to buy all of those clothes that I want at only 17. But even then, like, my old 17-year-old self, I wasn't really into fashion, not only because... It's not that I didn't like it, you guys. It's because I knew that I was going to grow up and that there could be a chance that, like, my clothes sizes would change. So that's why I wasn't into fashion. And I had a friend before when I was in middle school that he was so crazy into fashion to a point that I felt like I felt invaded in the sense that, like, he would, like, push it down to my mouth or whatnot. But it's like, you guys, I was only a kid. Like, when you're only, when you're a teenager, you're basically still a kid. I'm sorry. I'm just stating facts. But like, that's why I never really liked about that much about this society, how people has always cared. Oh wait, people have always cared about such stupid garbage. It's like I can. Like, I just can't. 
that's it for today's video you guys don't forget to like comment and subscribe and see you till next time